You're good. Hello and welcome to Jordan Essentials Fall into Love. Fall in love with Jordan Essentials evening. I'm Jenna and I am the corporate trainer and field trainer um, here at Jordan Essentials where we have products that look good, they smell good, and they make you feel good. So I am here tonight to tell you a little bit about what it means to be a Jordy. Now, I work for the corporate office and my journey with Jordan Essentials began after I interviewed Nancy, the founder of Jordan Essentials, for an industry magazine. And I was told, hey, you need to contact these CEOs who are well known for having companies with great cultures. And so I did and I interviewed her and I fell in love with everything she had to say about how she and the field and the corporate team worked together to build an amazing culture that was welcoming, that tried to include everybody and just the ethics that they really practiced from day to day. And a couple months later, I got some time in my schedule and I just emailed her and said, I want to work for you. Fortunately, she was on board and hired me. I love that she was willing to hear from someone and just say, yeah, I think that's a great match. So uh, that is my journey with Jordan Essentials. But of course, I'm corporate. I joined because it was just magnetic attraction. But there's a difference between working for corporate and actually working for yourself but not by yourself. So you're probably wondering, what really makes Jordan Essentials the right company for you? Well, there's so many reasons to be a Jordy, and we're going to share those by interviewing two of our top leaders, Four Diamond Directors, Karen Simpson, wife Karen, and Tammy Bechtel. These ladies share the products with others, and they each lead hundreds of women and achieving success by doing the same. In fact, together, I think the two of you actually help 2,000 people in this business. I, I went back in the back office and added up and I was like, oh my gosh, these two ladies lead about, together lead about 2,000 people. That's super, super exciting. Now, the reason we chose these two leaders, because we've got several, several, we actually have many great leaders is one of the leaders, Karen, had built a direct selling business with another company. She was really experienced in the industry at being a leader when she came over to Jordan Essentials. That's Karen. The other, Tammy Bechtel, had been part of direct selling companies before, but she had never truly optimized an opportunity and went all the way to the top the way she did here at Jordan Essentials. So everybody lean in and we're going to discover how Jordan Essentials could be a great and fun way for you to create income. Get your questions ready because later I'm going to ask you to drop those questions in the chat. So first, let's drop into the chat. Um, the comment section, rather, drop into the comment section, whatever your current job or career is, and we'll get started with questions. So let me just ask, Tammy, before you joined Jordan Essentials, what did you do for a job or a career? Um, I was a litigation paralegal, and um, I started in 1984, and I left my job in 2017. Wow. Yeah. So what is the difference to you? What, what are, why do you love Jordan Essentials? Why was that something you wanted to do full time? Um, I actually just kind of got tired. It, it's a lot to do both. Um, and I travel a lot. So when uh, my husband, he retired, we, or he quit his job actually, um, in 2014. And so then we were traveling back and forth to Georgia a lot to see the grandkids. Um, and I was able to work both jobs remotely, which was really good. But then it was like, okay, I just need to make a decision. And um, I've been in Jordan Essentials, you can do so much and the sky's the limit on what you want to do with it. 
so I finally just said, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm out too. So we both ended up just leaving our jobs and this is all I do is Jordan Essentials. So I love that story. You're living the dream. Yes. You're totally living as a grandma. I think you're living the dream. Karen, your story's a little bit different. So tell us, what did you do before direct selling became your focus? Well, Jenna, I spent uh, the last 30 years working in long-term care um, in, in the food service department. And the last job that I had, I was there for about 20 years uh, as the food service director of a pretty large facility. And um, I started with direct sales, not this company, but the other one. I was with them for about 10 years. And so I was doing both similar to Tammy. Uh, to create uh, a little bit of extra income for my family at first. But what I soon realized was that I didn't really love my job. And um, this was a way that I could do something alongside my job, alongside my family, uh, still did all the things that I was doing, volunteering, doing this and that, and build a business gradually over that 10-year period until when it finally got to the point where my, my income from my direct sales business exceeded my income from my job, um, then it was time for me to, that I met my goal. So I never lost sight of that. I thought I'm going to use this as a tool to get where I want to go. And that's what I did. And I had zero experience. <laughs> Not uh, <laughs> so, so you just, weren't an expert in this, were you? No, not when I started. I uh, not at all. And I just you surround yourself with wonderful people that lift you up and guide you and teach you, and you're willing and and open to learn. And uh, that's what I did. So and you know, even with a degree, any job you start there are skills you have to master. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is just one of those jobs that you, it has about three or four skills you really have to master. And I love that anyone can learn them. Anyone mm -hmm. can learn them. So Amy, where do you live? Where do I live? I now live in Georgia. I've been here a year. That's right. So tell me how you learned about Jordan Essentials. Um, well, in 2000, when it started 23 years ago, um, my dog just got her uh, squeaky toy, sorry. Um, but when, when I uh, moved, when I was in Missouri, um, hold on, you're, Karen, you're going to have to take it. I'm going to have to get her. <laughs> Karen, how did you learn about Jordan Essentials? So that's kind of a funny story uh, that I look back on it and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so weird how things work out sometimes, right? It's just their, their God winks and, and I followed mine, but uh, someone gave me a gift certificate to Jordan Essentials, never heard of this company before. And I vividly, really, vividly remember sitting down on the couch. It was late at night and I thought I need to use up this gift certificate. And I opened up the website and I thought, oh my gosh, it's makeup. I don't even wear makeup. Like, what am I going to buy? So I bought sleep oil uh and three bars of soap and um yeah i and now i love makeup so <laughs> <laughs> that works but um this the sleep oil worked and i was i you know the third day fourth morning that i woke up my husband said are you sleeping better and i thought well either i'm less grumpy during the day and he's noticing or he really can tell that i'm sleeping better and so from that moment um i reached out to the company i love do you know i didn't know that story yes. i love that that is great sure. Timmy, how how did you find out about jordan essentials okay sorry about that um when uh, i actually got invited to come to an open house for a new business, that new bath and body business that was opening in Nixa. And I was like, that is the weirdest invitation I've ever heard. I am going. And it was, it was country bunny at the time. And um, one of the one of the girls that had a party, she was launching her party because it was brand new. And um and that's when I learned about it and I opened up, I took this book, we had this book and it talked about the opportunity and different things. And I told the girl, uh, I want to do this. And now, I mean, 
I, but they did, they really did it a little strange. They didn't know how to do a party. So one of the first things was like, you know, if you wouldn't just do an open house, you wouldn't be telling everybody over and over and over again, just do a party and tell everybody all at once. So they were like, mm -hmm. oh, that's easy. So, <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of funny to get into it at the very beginning when they, when they really didn't know what they were doing. So it was, it was, it was fun. Mm -hmm. learning and growing together and looking back on all those memories I have been uh, you know in an area when you were telling tales about back in the day and I loved it I loved how y'all learn and grew together today to be basically where anyone can start their own online bath and body store how how easy is that that is absolutely amazing so Timmy as someone who had been in direct selling and knew how to do the parties but had not ever built a big team what was your biggest concern when you started your je business um i would always been pretty good at sales i think my biggest concern was i'd done so many direct sales companies before and some of them a couple times um that my my friends and family just trying to get them on base with me it's like oh here she goes again peddling her her product you know and that was that was one hurdle but my biggest hurdle was my husband because when i came home and i said i and i actually the chocolate mint massage bar the chocolate mint bar that was one of the bars that i bought first we only had lotion bars um a couple soaps a lip cube and bath bombs so and my husband loves massages so i thought okay i'm gonna get this chocolate mint massage bar so i bought it and i rubbed his shoulders and and he was and he says oh that's nice and i said well good because i'm gonna do this and he goes and he was like whatever and i'm like and and so for when i told him i said this is different this this company i'm gonna do something with and I I liked it because I didn't have to have a bunch of people to start a team. I needed one person and I was able to benefit off that one person. So that is I, unusual. Said, I want to build a team. I want to do this differently. And so I asked him if he'd give me a year and that's what we did. And I'm 23 years in. So 23 years in and at the very tip top of the company. But here's what I love. Karen, you're only five years in and you're at the tip top of the company. That is, that to me says so much about the way the compensation plan is set up. You don't have to be in, in the beginning. You can, and you can clearly build an amazing business because Tammy, your business is huge. But Karen, you came in just five years ago and have put the work in and just duplicated yourself and duplicated yourself till you're one of the top leaders in the company when you looked at jordan essentials what were you most excited about tim i'm sorry karen when you looked at jordan essentials what were you most excited about uh well jenna there's a couple things so um the i was still uh i still was a consultant with the other company that i was involved with and uh there there was some things that I, I really felt a drive to move move someplace else. So I was kind of, in addition to getting the, the gift certificate, I was also looking for a new home. And uh, from the moment that I talked to Nancy at the home office, um, from the very first call I had, I felt a sense of integrity that I hadn't felt with anybody else that I'd talked to. Uh, it was different. And I was not uh, really open to her. I was a little bit guarded when I talked to her, you know, it was a big decision. And I, I knew what I had in mind, but she didn't. And she respected that. So, um, so that was the first thing I, that, that led me to the next step. I, I, the career plan was very, uh, that was a key factor. Some of the things that Tammy mentioned, there's an opportunity with our career plan that a lot of other companies don't offer. And I could see that it would not only be a benefit to me wanting to create an income, but also to anyone that came on 
uh, wanted to join with, me, you know, that there's, I was looking for a home for people, you know, and it felt like a home. And then the third thing was, it's a consumable product that's on trend. So it really clicked all the boxes, you know, um, people. And when I say that, I mean, you try it and you fall in love with it and you order more because, and it, it's, it's trendy. People care about their health, you know? And so, um, more so now than probably ever. There's a lot of things in our environment that we can't control, but what we choose to purchase and use, that's our that's our independent choices. We can control that. So those those were the three main things that made it feel like, okay, you know something, I think this might this might be it. I like that. I like both of those. And I agree. Um, I've looked at many, many compensation plans because I've been in the industry on the corporate side for 20 years. And to have a compensation plan where as soon as you have someone, you lock arms with someone, you have them become a part of your team, it's rare to get paid overrides on just when you just have one person on your team. But it's so important because it shows you, yes, this is how it builds. I absolutely love that. So quick question. And I want, I really want to ask this same question of both of you, um, what did you want from your JE direct selling business when you first started, Tim? What did you want from it at first? Um, I wanted to build. I mean, I wanted, I finally felt like this was the right company at the right time. Um, and I wanted to build. And um, and my and my first party. Uh, my I did three parties in a week, and um, all three of those girls all signed up with me, and we just went we we just went to town. I mean, I wanted to recruit, I wanted to, and I wanted to build, and you know, and even uh, Debbie was, I think she was my second girl, and she's still with me today. I mean, so. You know, it's one of those things where you do, you lock arms and you journey together and we grew together and we, we did vendor events together and, um, and it's been quite a journey and, but we both had the same um, goal. She didn't know what her goals were, but I helped her along with that. And, and we, uh, and, and she built a, a, a very big organization right, you know, with me and it was just, it was really, it was good how easy it was to build um but you got to go wide and um that's the best way just keep adding people in and getting them to add in and that duplication is is incredible how how quick and and I want to say that the other thing I love about the company that that um a lot of companies don't have is that when you become a director what my the thing that I love the best is that once you become a director, most companies kind of split off. You know, your director split away from you um, and you make your overrides. But I love that our comp plan stays, you, they stay with you. You're still making all of your levels plus the override. And I find that to be incredible for, because the other companies I had been with did not have that either. I, so, I love that you, had this goal of, I really want to build a business. I want to build a business. Now, 23 years later, has your, what really excites you about Jordan Essentials, has that changed? No, I mean, I think it's for everybody, but I will tell you what excites me is seeing people when they wash their hands with the salt scrub <laughs> and they rinse and that, that, that look on their face is priceless. That and the lotion bar. When, when they put it in their hands, because, you know, that's pretty well what we started with. Um, and um, to this day, it's still, it's incredible. I just did an office, little office gathering today. And the looks on their faces were so funny. It's just, it, it, it reminded me, it doesn't get old to see that, that love of the products from everybody. And right then you gain their trust as soon as they feel the difference with our products. It's really, I, a, they, they gain your trust pretty easily. I 
I love that. Karen, what about you? Does the same thing excite you now as what excited you when you first came into Jordan Essentials? Exactly. And honestly, it, it, you know, Tammy's been here 23 years. I've been here five. So if you go back, you know, um, let's just say 18 years from when I joined and she was here, I joined for the exact same reasons that she did. I had, I had some goals in mind. I had, I had people that, um, that I was working with for a, a, a bit and they had goals too. And so, you know, um, it was truly a family, you know, there's a little saying you're, and I think you said it, Jenna, when we first got on here, you know, you're in, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself and you are never by yourself. So that is, and it is a family, you know, it's a little family that it, it takes off on a life of its own. So it's, yeah, it's awesome. I love that. So everybody that's listening, go ahead and drop in the comments. What do you want most out of a side gig? What are you looking for? Are you looking for money? Are you looking for connection? Are you looking to be with people who have the same values you have? Are you looking to help make an impact on people's quality of life? What are you looking for in a side gig? And if you'll start dropping those in the comments, we would love to read those. And Karen, I want to ask you, so how has your Jordan Essentials business impacted your life and the lives of those you love the most? It impacted our life a lot. Uh, I I was able to resign my job, um, met that goal. I've been with the other company for, for 10 years and was here a year. And after I was here a year, I was able to resign. Um, we moved from Pennsylvania to Tennessee. Uh, so that was, that was a big move and, um, it's countless ways. Like it's a lifestyle and, and you it's direct sales is not it. (laughs) It's basically you create habits until the habits become what you do in your life. It's like brushing your teeth and, and, you know, having coffee every morning and there's habits that we have and and this becomes a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle of habits that we create. And, and it's not a lot that you think about anymore. It's just, we do, you know? Um, and that's, I can't imagine any other way right now. <laughs> so so. Uh, so you're, you're saying you don't want to get up at six in the morning, commute an hour. That's <laughs> not what you're interested in. So interestingly enough, my husband is not retired. And so I try and get up long before I try and get up earlier than that, even to get some work done um, before the household wakes up. However, I get to choose that. And so there's a lot of times where um, I'm up early and then we will do something in the afternoon and then I might work in the evening. Or if I have the flexibility that you have is is pretty profound, but that's also profound even if you're not me. You know, yeah. you are starting somewhere and I started somewhere. It's the, the, this is something that goes along with your life. You know, you can fit it in here and fit it in there. And, and it's places that you, you, you do that um, and you're in control. And I, I, you know, that's, you can't get that anywhere else. And if you want to give yourself a raise, then you share some more products with people, you know, it's, so that's, it's different it, and it's good. It's good, different. That is one of my favorite things about our comp plan that every month you can choose to go from 25% with the first item you sell and you can choose to go all the way up to 35% depending on volume. Mm -hmm. So Tammy, let's, let's switch over here to you. How has your Jordan Essentials business impacted your lives and the lives of those you love most? Well, that's crazy. Um, Well, 2009, we became debt free, which was huge. and then and that was my big goal because we had had some issues before and um so that that was my goal and um and just the lives of my I have two sons and um you know what I've been able to help them do and traveling and spending time with my grand my grandkids is is powerful to me uh my oldest grandson just turned 10 today he is in double digits so uh, but I, we were able to take my son and I took the three boys and we went to Gatlinburg for the the weekend for the and 
it was, it's just nice to be able to have the flexibility to do what you want to do. And it's funny because we're driving, I'm like, oh, there's an order. And then, you know, then pretty soon you're like, oh, there's another order. And, and it's so much fun. And my son was laughing and the boys were like, what, how much was that one? You know, and they get into it and they, and they help me sticker things and they help stamp my books and, you know, and um, their little walking, you know, and talking advertisement for you too. But you do this business with, within everything you do. And I think, you know, busy people make the best reps. I, I honestly believe that because they are out working and talking and doing things anyway. And it's just fits right in. It's so easy to talk about it that it's just, it's, a, it's an amazing, um, it's an amazing company and it's changed my life. Like I never thought it could. And even helping my, my parents out was a really big deal. And that was so good that I was able to help them too. I so, love that. I didn't yeah. know that. That's a great part of your story. And um, so Karen, you've been doing direct selling now for quite a while. You've built really big with Jordan Essentials. What inspires you to continue? Ah, the people, my yeah. the customers, like you just can't, uh, it's, it's really something I'm reading a book right now. Um, and part of it is they ask, you know, what is it that you like about what you do? And I, I read that question yesterday and I answered it to myself this morning and it truly is the people it's, it's making a difference and, and, and seeing, um, seeing the difference like Tammy talked about when people love our products they're getting those phone calls that are like I slept last night because I was able to or you know this this helped that or you know just all of it and um the girls on my team you know the other leaders they're just it's the people and you can't replace that I it's not about me and there's the 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 more that we do it always comes back to us every single time. It just Zig does. Ziglar said it. He said, yeah. if you will help enough people get what they want, mm -hmm. you'll get what you want. He didn't mention the corollary to that is you almost don't care about getting what you want <laughs> at that time because you're so excited about these people whose lives you impact. So Tammy, I know your answer might be similar, but I'm going to ask you anyway, what inspires you to continue with Jordan Essentials? Oh, I definitely think it's it's the people. You know, it's funny. I um I I loved the money. I wanted the money. I I I got the money, but I did not expect to get the friendships that I got from from the customers to to all my consultants. And you know, just like I said, like I'm I was over there with my grandson tonight, and Judy. And I'm talking to Judy and. And Brantley knows Judy because we talk so much, you know, and, and Judy's like, happy birthday, bud, you know, and, and it's, it's such a, we're such a family. So I have this huge family all over the United States between customers and consultants. And it's, it's pretty incredible that, that it all started by sharing a lotion bar, you know, mm -hmm. that's just crazy to me, but it did. And, and, you know, Tammy, when, when you started in 2000-ish, 2001, it wasn't as easy to share with people, friends you love, people you knew across the country. Now, that's yeah. normal. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is Definitely. absolutely. We didn't have, yeah, 23 years ago, you didn't have Facebook, you know, we <laughs> didn't no. have a cell phone, I don't think, until my first year. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of cracks me up. So um, everybody, y'all are listening in. I know you're hearing things that are interesting, but if you have a specific question, if you will drop it in the comments, I will try and keep up with the questions that you have. And but so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. And um, if you've got questions, drop them in there and I'll ask these ladies because they really are as fun and as open and as friendly as they are seeming on this call, this Zoom, this whatever it is we're doing here, this meeting, this webinar. This is how these ladies are in real life. This is how they talk with each other and share with each other. I got to spend 
I think a weekend with them in October and so much fun, so interesting, so open and authentic. Um, you know, one of the things that we're frequently asked um, is about time commitment. So let's talk about time commitment. Karen, when someone joins your team, I know there's a couple of weeks there when they're exploring training videos and learning, but after that first 30 days, how much time might someone spend if they wanted to make, say, $250 a month, enough to pay, I started to say their electric bill, but electricity's grown up, gone up. So <laughs> if they wanted to um, go on date night or whatever costs $250, if they wanted to earn that, what do you believe the time commitment would commitment would be? Uh, I feel like it honestly depends on a couple different things. And uh, totally honest, you know, I can't really say it's going to take you an hour. It's going to take you 10 hours. Like, you know, that depends on um, number one, how you choose to work your business. So there's so many different ways that you can share products. It could be anything from, you know, opening your lotion bar on the bus and the person next to you is like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. What is that? You know, you're constantly just sharing products with people that might be in one-on-one -on -one consultations, like the Jordan lady with your neighbor. It might be setting a Jordan box, our subscription box on the corner of your desk at work and collecting orders. It might be doing a party. It might be doing vendor events. It might be online parties. It might be an office party like, you know, Tammy did today. There is no limit to the ways that you share. So in coaching someone through that, it's, that's a good question. How much money will make a difference in your life? Is that why you're here? What are you looking for? And then how are you, you know, what are your thoughts? Like, how do you see yourself doing that? Um, we kind of start at that number and work our way backwards, you know, and don't discount the number of times um, we have some really great tools that are built into um, our websites here that give you an opportunity, you know, reminders pop up, you have access to people with customers' phone numbers. Um, many a time I've been sitting someplace waiting and I can pull up on my phone and, and do some customer care and share, share specials with people. So, um, there's not like, I don't want to say, well, if you work 40 hours a week, because remember, we talked about that flexibility of being able to do what it is that you want to do. So um, that's not a direct answer, because I don't think I can give one, honestly, I think it becomes on that person. And if you have your goal, and you're like me, and you want that $250 a month, we'll show you how to do it, you know, um, and that's, you'll get it, you know, I, that's I, I let I actually, I actually knew that would be along the lines of the answer you would give because that's the nature of our business. Mm -hmm. It really it is. is. And I'll tell you, there, there's just one other part to that when I think about time, because time's a big deal with people. But when you're here for five, let's say you joined uh, today, you're like, hey, you know something I want to do this. I'm going to take advantage of that 50% off birthday kit. Um, so you join and you share the products and maybe you have five customers a month, five new customers a month. At the end of 12 months, you have 60 new customers, you know, and you fast forward in time passes. Y'all know how quickly time flies. And so maybe three years from now, guess what? Now I have 180 customers. And it's kind of like that penny that doubles. It's, you know, one cent, two cent, four cent, it keeps doubling. Well, that's, that's what a consumable product that people love that's affordable will do. You know, it's, that's what it'll do for you. So I love that answer because it's, mm -hmm. it is so individual and the way people work their businesses is individual. So Tammy, the next question is for you. And this came from um, part of our uh, participants here. Wendy Cockrell says, how do you find balance between your business and your family? And if you've done this company specifically for 20 years, you started when your children were younger and now you have adult children and even grandchildren. So how do you find that balance? Um, I, I think at the beginning, I maybe didn't have a balance. Um, I worked a lot and I sacrificed maybe a little more than I should have. Um, I hope the boy, but I know my son's, um, they, res they respect me they, for what I did for them. And, um, and I had a husband who helped, which was really good. Um, so that's good. So, you know, as a family, they kind of knew what my goal was and what the end results were. So I think that helps. 
But I think as far as time, because I worked, I did work full time and then I did this and I did a lot of vendor events that were out of area, trying to grow different areas because we were in a new place. Um, so I, I don't know. I think it's just, it's, it's keeping things on time, but you have to remember back then, I didn't have a phone. We had email, you know, and that's kind of how we did everything, but we have a phone that we talked to. So I did a lot of personal phone calls, but not a lot of texting. So I think it got easier to be able to text um, when you could do it, because then you do it around whatever time you have. Mm -hmm. So, but I do think putting up boundaries um, as far as how late you want to work and how early you want to work, um, because you do have to remember people do watch you. And if you're working too much, people don't want to be like you if they think it's too much. If it, if you're, if you're working so hard to get where you are, they're like, I don't want to be you. So, um, but I never ask anybody to do anything I'm not willing to do either. So my, my tip for everybody is do the small stuff like green by 15, you get a bonus at the, at your, you know, you're getting your commission plus you're getting the JJ box, do the incentive, do all those little things like that. And before long, you're going to, if you do those, you'll earn the trips and then you'll earn the money and you'll be talking to people and you'll be recruiting. So it's just taking little pieces and working it just wherever you go and whatever you do. I'm gonna and, take a pause here and explain what Green by 15 is. Okay. Because that is, an, that is, I'm glad you brought it up. That is a great incentive that we have every single month. Consultants who sell $500 by the 15th of the month get a free JJ box shipped to them and so they would get March's JJ box before anybody else got it. And when they get it, they can show it at events. They can show it at their one-on-ones. They can show it at their gatherings. They can open it on social media. And it's a tool to help them introduce the box to other people and show what's in the box because people can subscribe to it. People can buy a one-off, however they want to do it. But the point is, it's a sales tool for them and they get to... They get to try it before anybody else, which is absolutely amazing. So I didn't mean to interrupt you, Terry, but I wanted no, to that's explain good. that's a special incentive and the bar is low. If you've sold $500 by the 15th, you earn that every single month. And it's absolutely one of the most fun things that we do. Yeah. And I do want to say like, I, I don't, I think one month out of my 23 years, I've not been over a thousand, one month. And I think it was my third month into the business. So it's super easy to do if you just share. And, and that you know is what? The that is the next question that came up. And I'm going to let both of you answer this because I want both of your perspectives. So um, Megan or Megan Fusen says, how well do these products really sell? I've been with DS companies before, direct selling companies before, and she hasn't had much luck with it. So Karen, I'm going to let you kick off on that. How well do the products really sell? So they sell pretty well, Megan. <laughs> I, I, my first uh, couple of events that I did here going back five years, I could not believe that people like they're, they're actually buying this stuff. Like, I can't believe it. They still buy this stuff. And there's times when I'm at events now or, and um, I'll, I'll be, I'll have lines of people at my booth waiting. And that's not necessarily true to the people that are around me. Cause I want you to think about something when I say this, we are a consumable product for products that you use every day. So when someone says, well, who would I, who, you know, who's going to buy this? Well, anybody that takes a shower, cause we have amazing shower gel and we have great soap and we have shampoo and, you know, we have a complete head to toe family friendly product line that not only does those basic things, but we also have a line that cause, solves a lot of, provides a lot of solutions for common challenges that people have. Who do you know that has allergies? Who do you know that, you know, might be suffering from, you know, some headaches, you know, like normal things. So it really is um, something that it does move. And I can't tell you if, how many Geordies are probably listening to us right now that have said to me, well, Karen, I just want, I'm going to join, but I don't want to sell anything. And I just say, okay, 
And if you're if you're one of those ones out there, you can fess up to that on that chat because you guys joke with me about it all the time. Remember when I told you I wasn't going to sell anything because you're not selling anything. You're truly sharing a product that makes a difference with other people. And, you know, Tammy, before you jump in with your answer, which I know is going to be so enthusiastic, I want to point out that when I told my mentor in the industry, and she's been in the industry for, she'll own up to 40 years corporately. Uh, that's, and I don't say anything more than that. She'll at least own 40 years. One of the things she said to me, and she's known Nancy for years, she's known about Jordan Essentials for years. And when I told her I was joining the company, she said, you know, Nancy has done one thing that is so incredibly savvy that helps her succeed. It helps her um, consultants succeed. And it's one of, what's going to keep that company in business forever. I said, what? What is it? She said she keeps her products, which are functional products people use every day that are solutions to some things that are fantastic and great quality products. But she keeps the price point so that people don't have to cut them out of their budget. When gas prices go up, when food prices go up, when electricity bills go up, you know, you'll cut out those $150 nutrition programs because you're like, wow, that I, I don't know that I can keep that up. You'll cut that out. She said, but they're never going to cut out these products that offer solutions, these bath and body products that are so healthy for you when they're at this price point. So I, I, I'm like, oh, wow, that's really savvy. I'm so excited about that. So Tammy, what do you say? Do the products really sell? They really do. And, you know, every year you come back and when you're doing different events and people are like, Oh, I, I'm so glad you're here. I need to buy some. I'm like, you know, you could just call me anytime. And they and they're like, well, actually, look at my lotion bar is down to here, you know. And um, the 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 pro the problem I have is lotion bars last too long. Um, and I and I'll tell people that you don't have to use a whole lot, but it is so good. And if you ever have an issue, I'm telling you, if you do our salt scrub. That will win people over and then give them the lotion bar and they will love it. Um, and then they, and then working with people, listening to what people say, if you mm -hmm. will just listen to people and, and help them with the solution or um, like, like we're on an airplane and someone's like, me and my hands are dry and you can't bring lotion on, right? Or, and back when you couldn't even, I don't even bring anything. I'm like, here's a lotion bar, try it. And they... I think if you just hear, listen to people, they got a headache. We have a solution. Um, and you don't have to give out samples. You guys, I use my lotion bar and my headache stick and I let them use it. It, it doesn't, it, it's waterless so they, they don't carry bacteria. And I am not a big, uh, I know Karen is a huge sample person, <laughs> but we never had samples for a long time. So I just, I just get out the Shea Butter, squirt it on their hand, let them try it. And, um, but letting them try our products is so huge. Shea butter isn't greasy. Um, the salt scrub isn't greasy. You can, you know, you can do it in the shower and it's, you're not going to slip and fall. And you, you just have so many stories for people. But my biggest tip is be a product of the product and you will never have trouble sharing it. Yep. You know, um, another thing that Nancy has really been careful and um, we did big research throughout the industry, throughout, I think I looked at 20 or 30 companies and what they were doing on shipping costs and our shipping costs for the business kit, which is half off. You can get in that right now for $24.50 or $49.50, half off. Kits haven't changed. They, they have the same contents in them. The opportunity is amazing. We absorb most of the we most of the shipping cost for those because they cost so much more than what we actually charge for that, which is like nine fifty. But here's the important part: we've kept up. We looked at the industry and we're like, okay, we want to be fair to our customers. We want to be fair to our consultants. What are people doing for shipping? And so we're right at industry standard right now for shipping, which customers. Consumers care about this. They really do. They look at that and our, our prices are really fair and they're industry standard right now. So I love that too. Okay, um, let's talk about 
what we you have heard tonight. You've been commenting. I'm catching up. I'm not, I don't go as fast as you do because there's a little bit of a delay, but I'm checking here for um, questions. But what I'd love for you to drop in the comment section right now, if you are considering Jordan Essentials as something that might be a good fit for you, it just might be a good fit. Tell us what you've heard tonight that interests you the most, that intrigues you the most. And while you do that, I'm going to ask first, Tammy, um, what type of impact do you see the business of you and your team creating? What type of impact do you see being created? Oh, wow. Um, I think, you know, one of the things that Nancy used to say is changing, you know, uh, people's lives one lotion bar at a time. I think we kind of change that with changing people's lives when, you know, with magnesium stick at a time or whatever. But I think we just making an impact on people with the solutions that we have that um, that are affordable. Um, it just it and bringing people in and letting them make a really good income. Um, but the but the sky really is the limit. You can get in and you can do this business as much as you want or as little as you want. We have a lot of people, like Karen said, who get in because they love the product and they they want the discount. But my thing, my whole thing is, is if you love the product and somebody shared it with you, why are you not just share it with your friends and just share it? All you have to do is share it and you can make a really good income. And then I think that helps everybody. It's a win, win, win. It's a win for the company. It's a win for the customer and it's a win for you. And, um, and I like it when we, everybody wins. And these are products that are safe and affordable. And, um, and we've been around for a long time now. So um, we're not going anywhere. And I, that's one of the things I feel really safe in this company and um, the community that we have. I think one of the things that make us the most unique is that we are the company with the heart. And we've always said that. And to and always, and we and to this day, I still feel that way. Um, so I think we we make a big impact on a lot of people because we do love the product and we love the company and we love the people. So I like that. I like that a lot. Karen, what kind of impact do you see that excites you that you and your team are making? So Jenna, last the, the last business year at Jordan Essentials, um, our team, our total sales was two million dollars. And when I realized that amount of okay. So you can look behind me and see a magnesium bottle. <laughs> well, that one up there is $40. So how many of those, you know, like you think about how much of that great product and the solutions went out to people in people's hands that is safe for them to use, made a difference, you know, and not to imagine then how many of those, the, the, the team that, you know, they were doing anything from look, I, I just need a car seat to, I want to, I want to quit my job to, holy cow, I earned my first incentive trip. You know, um, no one applauds the majority, 99% of women when they leave for the day and come home and walk in their house at the end of the night and someone's saying, yeah, you did great tonight, you know, <laughs> you know, that doesn't happen, but it happens here and it happens a lot, you know, um, and that we do affect a lot of people. I, I feel like we're the light, you know, and sometimes it's a matter of, you know, be the light. We are the light. And the fact that I can say that and I can look at Tammy over there and I, we're just, we can work together just as well as if she was, it's just, it's so different. You know, it's we just, do work together really well. <laughs> so anyway, is, I think to myself, you know, we just ordered a pizza. Delivered to my house. It was thirty dollars. You can get a business kit for twenty four fifty. It's like there's nothing to lose here, you know. And then you get to use all the products, but it's not the products in the kit. 
It's what that kit can do for you. It's, it's what that kit could do for you. And people do not buy a kit to fail. You buy a kit because you have something you want and you want to succeed. So that's just do it. If you wake up tomorrow morning and you're thinking about it, that's your sign. That, you know, I love that. Here's your sign. If if you wake up tomorrow morning and you're thinking about it, here's your sign. You know, there are so many reasons to become a Jordy. Maybe you're passionate about safe and health, safe and healthy products. Maybe you want to be around like-minded people. Maybe you want or need more income. You need a schedule that works for you. Maybe you just want something that is all your own, Mm -hmm. all your own. And maybe you love getting out of the house around other adults. You want to work from phone. You want to work online. You want to grow as a business person or an individual. Maybe you're dedicated to making products that are made in the USA more successful. You want to be part of a woman-owned company. You want to help people with the benefits of magnesium. I could keep going, but that you get the point you want to do something fun you want to help people you want to you love to travel and you want a real free vacation because I will tell you that corporate jobs will say oh you get paid vacation and no you don't look at your credit card statement at the end of your trip and you'll see there's the hotel bill there's every bill you ate there's the extra towel from the cabana bar (laughs) there's all those things Mm -hmm. and with Jordan incentive trips you really can earn a, a free vacation. Um, there are, there are so many reasons, but you know what, what I really want the two of you to share with this, these participants is I want you knowing what you knew, know right now, what would you say to someone who was considering starting and growing a JE business? Tammy, I'm going to start with you and Karen, I'm going to wrap up with you. Um, that anyone can do it, um, plug in, be consistent, um, and, and really, you know, we, we have these things that we call IPAs, which are income producing activities. Um, and that means actually, you know, um, it doesn't mean you have to be going out there to do a show all the time, but it does mean, you know, nice customer service, following up with your customers. And um, if you will do that, you can grow a really good business, just taking care, taking care of the people that, you know, that, um, that use that buy your product service them. Um, They're such a nice warm market. So take care of who you have. And I think then um, asking for referrals, I think people forget about that. Um, But everybody knows somebody who needs our products. So I think it's just, if you're not afraid to ask and you, you will just, that's the thing is just split. I always tell people, flip that little negative person off your shoulder and, and just do it. Just say something. And I guarantee if you do that, you will have a business that you want. Um, and don't be afraid. We're, we're all here and we're all in the same boat. Oh Thank my you. gosh. I love that. That is so great, Tammy. Okay, Karen, knowing what you know now, what would you say to those people who are listening? What would you say to someone considering starting and growing a Jordan Essentials business? I would say that whatever's on your mind, get with the person that invited you to this or shared this with you and talk any hesitancy through with them. Um, because sometimes the things that hold us back are our perception of what we believe something might be. Um, and if you're not sure about whether it's something that you can do, or I don't have the time or, you know, any of those things, just know that you're joining a family that will believe in you until you believe in yourself. And I, I truly do believe that. I mean, I, we will do that. And, um, all joking aside, you literally are spending less than a pizza. (laughs) I mean, uh, let's get real here, right? So you're doing that. And then just in, and if you want to throw numbers at that for a hundred dollars in sales, you've paid for that kit investment and let the rest happen. Give it the old college try. There is that, I guess that's part of it too. You're not 
designing your life, it, it's 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 so non-threatening in every way, shape, and form that there should be no fear. There doesn't need to be, and there doesn't need to be uh, any hesitation for what you might think it is. You know, jump in with both feet. You know, um, give it a wingding. That's what I, I love. Think. That. You so, know, and I. I there, the thing about this business is all the skills, there's four or five skills, they're learnable. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. if you're, if you're worried about the time, how much time do you think it takes? It doesn't have to take 20 hours a week. This isn't selling jewelry at the pennies counter. You get to set your schedule. You don't have you to do, do You do get to set your schedule. You are in charge. And we just don't say that because you know what, what you, the, what you put into something is a direct result of what you're going to get out of that. And so that's up to you. Um, you you decide what that is. Our job is to guide you along so that we can show you the things that you can do this or that to, to get you where you want to be. Um, one of the things that not very many people know about me is that, you know, every time I had to give an oral report in high school, I took an F because I could not speak in front of people. Um, I, I was the girl that hung in the back of the room and hid from everybody because I had zero self-confidence. And so, um, that all, everything we do leads us to the next part of our life. And so if I would turn the clock back and I could look back to those early years of, you know, my first party where everything went wrong, but nobody knew it because nobody knew what to expect. So I knew everything went wrong and nobody else did. So (laughs) But you you got grow through things, and this is if it's if it's some tapping you on your shoulder, you know that's one of the biggest gifts we have is our intuition. So if it's a you know if it's a what if, do it. Ladies, thank you for pouring your hearts out to this audience tonight, and we're gonna have this. Um, our marketing director Beth, who is all things amazing and social, and um, she's gonna put this on the uh, Facebook group, our Facebook page, right where you're watching it here. You can come back, you can watch it. You can tag a friend if you think, hey, she said something I think you'll agree with. Get with the Jordy who invited you to this webinar. Get with them if you have any questions. They can walk you through those questions. They can send you um, a link to a video that our founder talks about her passion And if it connects with your heart, if what was said here tonight just resonates, resonates with you and you wake up tomorrow, if you can sleep, you wake up tomorrow and you're thinking about it, there's your sign. We love that you joined us. We are absolutely thrilled that you spent this evening with us. We are excited to help you on your journey. So get with the Jordy who invited you. Let them know what you think. Let them know what your questions are, because that can be a very big deal. And thank you so very much. Ladies, Tammy, Karen, y'all are amazing leaders. I know you already know that I think that because I do tell y'all that, but you're amazing (laughs) leaders. I'm so glad that I got to introduce you to people who don't know you because it's so much fun. Thank y'all so much for joining us tonight. Get with the Jordy who brought you give her or him your questions, share what you're thinking, and just know that you don't have to know everything to get started. You just have to know one thing, and that's how to click and roll. So thank you so much. We will talk to you as soon as possible. Goodbye now.